I think that it is fine to have uh, iterative statements of policy intent where you say one thing and then um, you listen and then you can expand and improve. The Palestinian exactly chief negotiator said Obama had closed all doors to peace. That's, that's quite an indictment coming from the Palestinians. Al Quds said well, this cheap way of throwing himself at the feet of this lobby harms American interests, encourages I, violence and terrorism by giving justification to extremist groups. We're in the Middle East. I would be very, very leery Which means about, what? about imputing um, the entire public opinion of the Palestinians to one spokesperson. Uh, this is a pluralistic Barack Obama. It's not one has... spokesperson, it was the chief negotiator to the Palestinians. <clears throat> uh -huh, right. A man, a man with a considerable experience in foreign affairs, a lot more than Barack Obama. So I would be shocked, and I don't think anyone is so fatalistic as to think the entire future of the peace process could be doomed by one statement that then was expanded. So you need a bit more. more clear thinking than you've had from him. Uh, I, <laughs> I wouldn't agree with that. I think that you might. Right, I mean, he okay. is not a professional politician, and clearly there are minefields that you do encounter Who is not? with uh, Who's Barack not a professional? Obama. He's not a professional politician? No, he's not. He, he should just... be, shouldn't he? If he's going to sit in the Oval Office. Uh, I don't a professional think so. Politician? I, I think there probably is a natural learning process that comes with the minefields that you encounter specifically okay. with so you, things so you like... want him to learn on the job. All right, Michael Signer, thank That's you very fair. much indeed. Thank you. Uh, could I ask now, please, Saad bin Tafla al-Ajmi to speak for the motion? Well, thank you, Tim. Glad to see you again. Happy to be here. Let me first of all point out that I'm not actually here to endorse one American presidential candidate or another. I'm actually here to highlight issues which I think are of important priorities for us as people in the region. The three top most important issues are the Palestinian issue, which I think with Jerusalem being the uh, address of the conscience of all Arabs and all Muslims and all peace-loving nations in the world, on the one hand, to end the occupation, the Israeli occupation of the Palestinian land, and to come up with a just solution with the two-state solution, which John McCain, I think, is the right man actually to follow suit to bring the just solution for the Palestinian plight, on the one hand. On the other hand, I think that the... Uh, Iraqi issue is a very important issue. It, America toppled Saddam, started the mess, and Iraq is in chaos. It could slip into chaos if America, as Obama wants, packs up and leaves, leaving all of those Iraqis to, the, to their fate and leaving Iraq slipping into chaos. And with all of those sacrifices the Iraqi people have actually done and have actually offered and made. Thirdly, we don't want a confrontational, gung-ho, all-out war with Iran, nor do we want also an appeasement of Iran. Now, having said that, the United States of America has to take up its moral and political responsibilities to finish the job and the mess and to clean up the mess started in Iraq, not just to pack up and leave on the one hand and leave Iraq prey to chaos and to Iran, and at the same time to bear in mind that we don't want another war with Iran, yet we don't want Iran to violate the Security Council resolutions and have nuclear weapons in this region because it will be volatile, it will be very, very dangerous. Therefore, because these are our priorities, from what we've followed up in the campaign, in the presidential campaign, we think that John McCain is the right man to address and adopt these issues. Saad bin Tafa al thank you very much indeed. What has John McCain ever suggested doing for the Palestinians? I think that the position of John McCain... When his party, would still, when his party hasn't advanced the peace process one iota in eight years... I'm not years. here actually to speak about the GOP. What I'm talking about is that... Well, he happens to belong to that party. Allow me to finish. Tim, this is not hard talk. Let me finish. <laughs> it's tough talk. I've been with you with hard, in it's hard talk, talk before, Tim. <laughs> it's tough now, talk, whether I think it's hard that or the not. Policy, uh, allow me to finish. The policy that the school of John McCain is adopting is a two-state solution. And this is actually in co compatibility with the Arab Peace Initiative. No, that's what Bush has been pushing unsuccessfully well, actually, for eight years. Well, no, he didn't, where, where he, he didn't, he didn't new push ideas. it for eight years. And we're not here actually to discuss Bush or McCain or Obama. We're dis discussing... We are, actually, least. because am, the, am, the motion tonight am, is this House believes let, let the let Middle finish. East would be better off with John McCain in the White House. Let, let me and you're on I that side. Here, I am here, actually, to take this opportunity to highlight the issues that are dear to us and important to us. At the end of the day, the one who are going to decide who's going to be in the uh, White House are the Americans come next Tuesday. But you are sitting on that side. 
So I am sitting you, on the side of the issues. You are apparently that supporting are, let, let the finish. motion. I am, I am supporting the motion because the motion because is compatible with my priorities. John McCain in the representative Tim, Tim. of a party that's done nothing for the Tim, Palestinians for the last eight years. We are speaking at the same years. time, and I think that you know, these, this esteemed audience needs to at least listen to my point of view, being the only non-American well, amongst your distinguished, esteemed you know, panelists here. Let me finish. I think that I am supporting John McCain because what he said is incompatible with what, what I want. Not because I think he's a great man and he's wonderful. If it comes to personal characteristics, I think that uh, Obama is more eloquent, charismatic, attractive, but that's... that's so your that's support is pretty decoration. lukewarm. Allow me. That's it's decoration. It's not foundation. We said the same thing when George Bush was running against Al Gore. We said, ah, oh, George Bush is going to come. He's going to give the Palestinians their right. Uh, the rights we have to actually be against Al Gore. Nowadays, we're shifting. So it's not a shift to the GOP All or right. blue versus right. So it's it's, a, it's sticking to, to our priorities. I have to stop you there. Thank you very much indeed. Now, please, let me ask Hafez Al-Mirazi to speak against the motion. Thank you, Tim. The motion is very clear, and that makes it also easy for me and for my audience. It, uh, would the Middle East be better off with John McCain in the White House? McCain is eager to fight and engage in wars against Iran, Syria, anybody who would oppose him. Like Bush, he wouldn't talk to his opponents. He shoots first and talk later. Obama uh, was right in uh, uh, describing McCain's disagreement with Bush as similar to Robin getting mad at Batman. Remember that all the killings and the shooting we have witnessed in our region since 2003 is a result of a war promoted and engineered by a peaceful vice president, Dick Cheney, who happened to be a quail hunter, just a small quail hunter. Could you imagine if Sarah Palin reached the White House and became and become a vice president? She is, by the way, a moose hunter, and you could find the difference. And also to Dr. Saad, the only visit, the only visit for Sarah Palin to the Arab world was to Kuwait. And what did she do in Kuwait? She was practicing shooting uh, in, in a Kuwaiti uh, military camp. I, I, think, I think that's irrelevant. Please, See, please, please. No, no, this, it's not a time for arguing. Okay. Please let him finish. If you care about also U.S. Muslim... Please. That's one, one minute I have to take back from my... <laughs> <laughs> if you care about U.S. Muslim world relationship and you would like it to recover, be aware that a mccain palin's victory would do to this fragile relationship what Lehman Brothers did to the financial markets. He, he, his, the intolerant anti-Muslim rhetorics that came or has come out of their campaign made a moderate Republican leader like Colin Powell endorse the Democrat Obama and condemn this tone coming out of the Republican Party. I believe McCain cannot be good for the Middle East and the only Al-Qaeda website uh, al Hisba recently, as the Washington Post reported, said, yes, McCain is good for the Middle East. Thank you. Hafez al-Mirazi, thank you very much. So you have no recommendation for Barack Obama, then? Uh, I would uh, uh, second Barack Obama in many things, and I would disagree with him in, in issues like the Arab-Israeli conflict. But also, our audience knows but that... But if you're rejecting no, the motion, you clearly is, think he'd be better in the White House We than, have Ralph Nader, McCain. for example. I could vote for Ralph Nader, but McCain over my dead body. So you'd have anybody, even uh -huh. Barack Obama. Well, you, no, you've you gone, have, you you have gone a blind Nader, date with you have Barack Ralph Obama. Nader, you have Bob Barr, you have so many people. Uh, the choices, it doesn't matter if they win or not. But even, these happen to be the two candidates well, that are actually fighting to be, in the this election. This is your motion. You didn't this say Barack the Obama. The motion is, is, is the Middle East going to be better off with McCain? Of course not. How do you know? How do you know? Because I, I made the, uh, the test that Ronald Reagan said. I mean, McCain well, disagreed. We're not talking about Ronald Reagan. We're talking about John we McCain. We are talking about... John McCain has very different policies. We are talking about the policies of George Bush and his people. No, and we're not. We're talking John about the McCain policies of John McCain. John McCain disagreed with Bush. John McCain has sought Bush to distance himself only 90 on, on every occasion. No, not in much, every. Much more in, the, in foreign policy John McCain voting with 90 percent with Bush. So he cannot... Mostly on domestic policy. On uh, foreign on, policy, on, there have been key differences. On, on, on Guantanamo everything. Bay, there's John been McCain a clear difference. John McCain authored and voted for the war against Iraq, and he was the one behind it in the, in the, in the Congress, unlike 
uh, Obama who, was, who voted against You said John that. McCain shoots and talks later. That, that, that well, is when true. is he shot? Who is well, he shot? Uh, John McCain has a temperament, and uh, John McCain is known But to for make that. an accusation like that, he's known for that. You can't give me an example well, of where well, he someone, shot anybody. Someone who unlike, like, unlike Vice someone Je President would like Cheney, to, for someone instance. Someone who would like to entertain himself wouldn't sing bum, 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 Iran. I don't think that that's really a reasonable person. Well, Ronald Reagan said it's time to bomb Russia and didn't do it. Hafez al-Mirazi, on that note, thank you very much indeed.